Hey everybody, welcome back to the devlog series. Today, we're going to be diving in on some math. Now, this has been a bit of a struggle for me over the past week or so. I've been trying desperately to understand the mathematical functions that go into the like a 3D wheel collider and how I calculate the contact points based on bounds and smooth out the suspension and not have any discrepancies and weirdness and it's just been a nightmare but I got it all on film and I also got it to work so I figured that means I have to show you guys so without further ado let's get into it so the kind of general improvements so far um Mostly a lot of just planning. I've been taking all the time to actually take this from a week-long idea slash project and figure out how I'm going to turn it into a sustainable uh, game, how I'm going to get the Steam release, the advertising, everything like that. Um, one other major thing I've done is I started to work on the inverse kinematics for the player. So uh, I'm actually using an asset called Final OK. Brilliant, brilliant piece of kit. Uh, it was super simple setup and you know a couple of tweaks and the person riding the bike is starting to look like he's actually riding a bike are you sure about that now i actually have some plans for the way i'm going to kind of structure this rig this player um one of them mainly is being that at his core he's not going to have any meshing so theoretically i can retarget any humanoid compatible rig with the rig of my system thus allowing any kind of crazy shaped characters um, crazy models whatever uh, people will kind of be able to pick and choose what they look like while they ride around in my experience right let's talk about some physics improvements so the entire bike i'm actually simulating with a rigid body um i initially went down the path of simulating each individual element of the bike with individual rigid bodies however ultimately i decided against that uh, in fear of uh, having to run my fixed update super high and kind of like compromising performance goals and just compromising on stability of the bike um so instead i decided on a, an approach with a, a single rigid body and i use a lot of forces to kind of control the movement of the bike so that meant that i had to figure out a way to create a really nice wheel collider So before I was using Unity's Wheel Collider and the problem with Unity's Wheel Collider is it's completely closed off so I can't make any edits to it. Um, and also it's a two-dimensional collider so it has no depth, no width. So I had to fix that. So the approach I ultimately ended up with is this kind of epic hybrid approach between like traditional uh, spring collision and a sweep test. So what I can actually do is sweep test the rigid body that's the shape of the wheel based on the visual element of the wheel with a mesh collider and return theoretical collision data for that and base all my spring calculations off of said return. This means that the actual shape of the cast is in complete relation to the size of the wheel. So you don't get any unnecessary clipping. Everything is respected and treated as a collision and you get these three dimensional collisions come back. Here was the first test using the new wheel colliders on the BMX. I'm just kind of riding around a little bit. Some features have been disabled that were previously enabled. So if it looks a little bit different, that's why. Um, but as you can see, it's super stable. It holds really nicely. Uh, it gives me solid collision callbacks. And more importantly, there's no clipping in the wheels because that was a, like a semi-decent problem before because obviously the raycast wheel originally based on the wheel collider from unity only sent out one raycast so you didn't get that full uh arc of data right now i'm not saying this was easy this took me at least a week's work uh working maybe four or five hours a day um straight into the night to try and get this thing to, to kind of function how i need to to move forwards um, and it's not done yet. One of the biggest uh, problems I actually faced during the setup of this wheel collider was friction. Now, friction on a wheel has been an ongoing discussion for the past 20 years in the game dev industry on what is the correct approach, how do we best approximate the friction forces acting upon a wheel, and how do we do it optimized and efficiently. So, and I'm no physicist. Um, 
it's actually ironic physics was the one subject that i passed exceptionally well back in school um but even with all that knowledge even with all that knowledge you know uh equal and opposites attractions newton's first law you know being a super genius i still couldn't figure it out so it's a little bit difficult but i'm sure i'll i'll find a good middle ground approach sooner rather than later and then i can move forward properly fucking right now pussy Wow. Just thought it was kind of funny having a BMX with four wheels. Right, and I think that concludes this devlog. Um, so as you can see, I've been working on a, on a little bit of stuff here and there. Um, I'm, I'm consistently moving forward on this project. And, you know, I'm making steady progress. I'm excited. I'm still just as passionate as I was at the start. And I haven't lost any, any passion for this. Um... So I'm going to continue working on this as, as hard as I can while balancing my 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 job too. Uh, I'm going to keep posting devlogs and keep trying to push this game. And yeah, I'm just super excited to continue. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed uh, this devlog too. Um, please subscribe, leave a comment if you, if you liked this video. And uh, the links from before are in the description, Discord and Patreon. Um, feel free to check those out. Any support is greatly appreciated. Thanks again for watching, guys. Goodbye.